When the seal begins to wear, the seal becomes ineffective and leaks. Our flexi-skirt sealing system eliminates these problems. The flexi-skirt rides on the belt, providing a dynamic seal that conforms with the belt as it moves. We call it a parallel seal. With a coefficient of friction equal to 0.5, the flexi-skirt rubber offers less friction than a traditionally installed seal. The flexi-compound seal also has diagonal grooves in the rubber to return dust particles to the loading zone that might otherwise escape from the seal. These grooves are so effective that fine material dropped on the belt at the seal is drawn into the belt loading zone. Just watch. With a seal zone of two inches and the added feature of the grooves, the flexi-skirt system offers dramatic improvements of 400% over traditional sealing systems. Note that as seal rubber wears, the spring-loaded flexi-skirt continuously feeds more rubber onto the seal zone. The installation is also simple. The installation begins by removing your current skirt board sealing system. Then the flexi-skirt holder is either welded or bolted to the skirt board. The easiest way to find the proper height for the holder is to cut a small section of the flexi-skirt rubber off the end of the roll and place it in one end of the holder. Using it as a gauge, make sure that two inches of the rubber rest on the belt and then mark the top of the holder. Slip the piece in the other end of the holder and mark it likewise at the top. This should be done about every five feet. Using these marks, then draw or strike a chalk line as a guide for installing the rest of the holder brackets. In most instances, the distance from the top of the holder to the top of the belt is nine and a quarter inches. Special care should be taken for the transition zone of your conveyor. If the flexi-skirt holders are designed for two different idler angles, you need to take special care. One of our holder designs is for zero to 20 degree idlers, and the other is for idlers higher than 20 degrees. You may need to use a combination of these two designs if the idlers in your loading area are in a transition zone. Flexi-skirt rubber should not protrude into the loading zone itself beneath the skirt board. If in your installation it does, then protection should be provided for the top of the sealing material by installing baffle plates inside the skirt board. The skirt board holders are shipped in five foot sections, and as many as are needed can be installed to form the ultimate seal length. Flexi-skirt holders can also be cut to meet your special needs, as shown here. If your loading area is in a transition zone, then make sure that the flexi-skirt holder is parallel to the top of the belt throughout the entire zone. Cut the holder bracket if necessary to keep the holder parallel to the top of the belt. Once the holder is fastened in place, the flexi compound rubber is inserted between the clamp and the bracket, and the grooves oriented down towards the head fully. The clamps are then tightened, and the installation is complete. Since there are no holes drilled into the flexi skirt rubber, it can be inverted so that both edges can be used. Here's another tip to optimize your flexi-skirt seal's performance. Make sure to extend the holder bracket about eight to 12 inches back beyond the back plate. This will permit the seal to form a butt joint rather than a miter joint. And this will limit the amount of dust which can escape from the seal corner. Well, that's all there is to the installation. Maintenance is as simple as removing the rubber turning it over and re-tightening the bolts. And to make this simpler, we offer 
the optional quick lever. These require no hand tools.